Hello, everyone, and welcome. We're going to talk today about Nutanix's NCP certifications. This is Nutanix Certified Professional. And uh, my name is John Hall, and I'm the Director of Technical Certifications here at Nutanix. And I'm excited to talk to you today about this. Why don't we just jump on in? So who is uh, the Nutanix Certified Professional right for? First of all, if you're a customer of ours and you deploy, configure, administer, or operate Nutanix technologies, and I'm going to show you the different ones that we have NCPs for, then this is right for you. Right? If you're a partner and you're looking for a deeper understanding of these technologies so that you can maybe partner multiple technologies of ours together or how we would compete against other technologies that are in the industry, then this is good for you as well. If you're an architect and you're creating uh, Nutanix designs or reference architectures, then this is great for you as well. Uh, and then finally, if you're a service professional and maybe you're supporting Nutanix implementation, this is again, a good place for you to get uh, you know, a, a level of foundational expertise, right? So the technology areas that we do include for Nutanix service professional are multi-cloud infrastructure, end user computing, database automation, data services, and multi-cloud automations. You can see these are all kind of within the orbit of Nutanix Certified Professional. We uh, will probably have more of these coming, uh, again, to, to partner up with the different technologies that we have, but these are the ones that are available to you today. So let's look at each one in a little more depth. Let's start with Nutanix Certified Professional Multi-Cloud Infrastructure. And we're starting with this one because this is the certification that encompasses our core uh, AOS technology, right? So the technology that makes up our nodes, our blocks, our clusters, where you're deploying virtual machines, right? The one that you can deploy to a private cloud, but you can also deploy to a public cloud or connect in for a multi-cloud infrastructure. This is the one, right? So um, a lot of times this is where you would go first, even if you're going to look at some of these other Nutanix certified professional certifications, Right? And earning it validates your ability to deploy, administer, and troubleshoot Nutanix AOS, provides mastery of key concepts from virtual machine management to lifecycle operations. What's covered in the certification if you're going to go and take this exam? Well, first of all, we want to make sure that you know how to define, manage, and secure a Nutanix cluster. We want to make sure that you have a good, solid understanding of networking principles as it relates to AOS, that you can create and manage virtual machines, and that you can monitor both those virtual machines and the overall cluster. Then we want to also take a look at and make sure you understand some of the underlying pieces. So do you know how the distributed storage fabric works? Right, and what those storage constructs are. So you understand snapshots and clones and how to create storage containers, how to work with deduplication, things like that. And then working with the uh, Acropolis storage services. So we have a certification that goes much deeper into the storage technologies, but even at this level, you'd kind of want to have a pretty good understanding of how to define and configure Nutanix volumes and how to work with Nutanix files and when you'd want to use that. And then uh, the other thing that we're seeing here is data resiliency and protection. So configuring like high availability, understanding how failover works, making sure you have a data path redundancy, uh, understanding how leap works, things like that. So again, this is that one is probably the first one that you'd want to take a look at. But we have uh, NCP certifications that focus on other critical areas and technologies. And the next one we'd want to talk about is the Nutanix Certified Professional for End-User Computing. Now, folks that obtain this have proven that they have the skills to successfully deploy, monitor, and administer end-user computing environments in one of two flavors. We find that most people are either A, doing virtual desktop infrastructure, so they're taking an AOS cluster solution and they're partnering it up with, uh, you know, Citrix or... Horizon or, you know, any, uh, you know, desktop implementation like that, right? And then other folks are, are not combining it so much as a desktop infrastructure, but they're using desktop as a service. And uh, Frame, which is a Nutanix technology, is uh, ideal for desktop as a service. So because you may be doing one or the other, this is kind of a unique certification in that you can choose the exam that you want to take 
to gain this certification, depending on your method of EUC implementation. So let's take a look at the VDI exam and what's covered there. If you're going to take that exam, then we want to know that you know how to describe our technologies and solutions as they relate to EUC. Can you architect, configure, and operate a Nutanix VDI environment, understanding the properties of different pieces that you'd be integrating in? Can you describe the role of frame? So frame is one of the options in a VDI implementation, and you may or may not be using that, but if you do, we just want to make sure you have the basics around what are the configurable items in a frame environment and how will you manage and configure that environment, right? And then uh, finally, troubleshooting, optimizing, and scaling a Nutanix VDI implementation. So uh, can you show us how you would optimize it, how you would uh, configure and determine resource utilization, things like that. Now let's say instead of VDI, you're going with DAS, right? In that case, we would want you to give us features, benefits, and requirements for a frame implementation. We would then want you to be able to tell us how to configure and optimize a frame end user experience. So launch pads, frame terminal features, authentication, things like that. And then finally, we'd want you to show us how to administer and troubleshoot a frame implementation. So how do you manage master images, how do you set up organizations and accounts, uh, interpret analytics, that kind of thing. Okay, so we've covered multi-cloud infrastructure and we've covered end user computing. The next thing we wanna take a look at is database automation. So earning database automation certification says, hey, you have the ability to successfully deploy, administer, optimize and troubleshoot database workloads that have been uh, automated and deployed using Nutanix era. Right, uh, and that you can further provision, patch, protect, and clone databases that are managed by Nutanix Era. The things that we would be looking for in someone who is certifying here is describing, deploying, configuring, and monitoring an Era implementation. So making sure that you could tell us what are the features and benefits, how do you deploy an Era VM, how do you configure the instance, um, reporting on database inventory, and then uh, operating and maintaining ERA, so registering database server VMs, provisioning databases, things like that. Then can you protect Nutanix ERA using Time Machine? So uh, all, all the ways that you would work with cloning, with policies for backing up your databases, things like that. And then finally, administering a Nutanix ERA cluster environment. So ERA profiles, doing software updates, adding clusters to an ERA implementation, uh, role-based access control, that kind of thing. All right, so moving on, the next certification we want to look at is focus on storage. So Nutanix Certified Professional for Data Services says you have uh, proven your ability to deploy, configure, optimize, troubleshoot, and perform administrative tasks on Nutanix Enterprise Cloud Storage. And that storage, we, uh, in, in this certification, take a unified approach to encompassing files, objects, and volumes. So whatever combination of these storage technologies you're utilizing in your solution will be covering here. So what's that look like in the exam? It shows that you know how to deploy and upgrade files and objects and being able to uh, perform upgrades and maintenance for those types of implementations. That you can configure and analyze files uh, and objects, also volumes, uh, that you can configure shares, buckets, or volume groups, things like that. That you know how to analyze and monitor one of these solutions. So files in particular has a component called file analytics, so that you know how to use that to assess usage patterns. That you can, uh, in general, uh, monitor performance and utilization. And that you can use Prism Pro to do capacity planning. And then finally, troubleshooting uh, storage solutions related to these things, including uh, Nutanix files high availability processes, how you would troubleshoot a failed upgrade for files or objects. So I think it's important to, to think in general when you're going troubleshooting is that you know when you're configuring something, uh, there are certain steps to follow, but that doesn't mean that we're guaranteed to follow them every time. And something that goes wrong in that process may result in a failed implementation. And so we cover the steps there and how to go and fix that. All right, so finally, the last certification we want to look at in this grouping is a Nutanix Certified Professional for Multi-Cloud Automation. Uh, 
Now, folks that get this certification have proven an understanding of IT automation and how our multi-cloud solutions help to automate both infrastructure and applications. In particular, they understand how to design both single and multi-tiered applications and have proven the ability to incorporate manual tasks into that automation process. So any given multi-tiered application that you put together may have scripting in it, may have you know, multiple steps to deploy, multiple VMs to deploy. And someone that has obtained this certification has shown that they understand how that whole process works. So what do you have to know for this particular certification? First, you'd want to be able to describe and differentiate automation concepts and principles. So talking a little bit about our playbooks, categories, what are the components of X-Play, and then getting into Calm, which is our primary technology for application automation. So being able to deploy and configure Calm and its related components. So understanding how to create blueprints, how to work with configuration settings for Calm deployment, um, features and requirements, things like that. And then can you validate both blueprints, playbooks, and automation settings, right? So once we've created this stuff, making sure that we can validate those configurations, understanding what kind of issues might creep in when you're creating a solution that's automated like this, uh, where can you find information to help you make sure everything works right? So we've looked at multiple uh, NCP certifications and what you need to know in order to get certified in each one of those. So the next step for you would be to prepare for one of these. And the first thing you might want to do to prepare is to take a Nutanix training course. And you can take it in whatever way works best for you. Uh, the one version uh, would be to go online, and you can go online to Nutanix University, and this is perfect if you've got your own lab or test environment, and you want to be able to take some time and play around with it later. But uh, you may want to have, to work with a lab environment that's provided to you, and or work with an expert or other professionals, and that's when an instructor-led class is great, and we offer those in both uh, per in-person and virtual. In addition to taking a Nutanix training course, we also have some informal training and self-study options. And those include the Nutanix University YouTube channel, which has dozens of videos that are built by our own Nutanix engineers. Uh, we also have a practice exam for every one of the certifications that I talked about here. And each practice exam has questions that are designed by the same team that built the actual exam, has full explanations along with it, uh, really good for you to help you prepare. And then we also have some free online short courses that you can take in addition to, uh, you know, the full Nutanix training course for, for your given certification. Finally, we have the exam blueprint guide. Now, this is a piece that you should always download, go through, and use to prepare for the exam because it has everything you want to know about the exam on it. Everything, including the number of items, the uh, length of the exam, the languages it's offered in, what objectives are available, what references uh, are, are uh, there for those objectives, what training we recommend in specific, all that kind of stuff. To get started, you just go out to our website, and uh, there's a section on our website under sports services, training certification, and certifications. But when you arrive there, you can click on log into Nutanix University, and that's going to take you into uh, where you can explore each of the certifications that I've talked about today. You can take training. You can register to take the exam. And we certainly hope that uh, you'll do that and that you'll uh, come along with us on a journey here to becoming uh, certified and to getting more deeply involved with Nutanix technologies. Uh, once you've done that, you can stay connected with us. And you can do that on any of our social media platforms. So you can come out to Twitter. You can go to LinkedIn under Nutanix University. You go to YouTube under Nutanix University. Uh, we have an education blog that uh, that we are updating constantly that gives you new and latest information on exams that we're launching. So uh, hopefully you found this information valuable. We thank you for your time with us today. And uh, please come to Nutanix.com certification to learn more and uh, start with us on your journey.